Hey there, everybody. Coming at you with a quarantine quickie for today, April 3rd, 2020. As I head back for my essential job here on a beautiful, beautiful day, 72 degrees here in uh, the Midwest, Midwestern United States. Um, this one comes from Jim Massa again, our resident climate scientist. And his question is, what would have happened if they had recruited Paul Rogers into Deep Purple after Ian Gillen left the band? Well, I guess there's a few different ways that this could go. I am admittedly not a, uh, don't have a huge amount of knowledge about Paul Rogers. Um, just know a little bit of his work with Free and Bad Company and such. Um, I do know that Richie, uh, you can scarcely catch an interview where Richie does not wax poetic about what it would have been like to work with Paul Rogers. He's like the, uh, the um, you know, this, this, this unobtainable icon in the distance that Richie is at, uh, sought after and, and wanting, to, wanting to have in his possession, um, which just never seems to come to be. Um, and from my reading, um, I mean, I feel like I've got a pretty good understanding of Richie, but from my reading about Paul Rogers is it doesn't seem like those two personalities would necessarily gel very well. Um, Paul Rogers, uh, at this time was kind of seeking some more creative control. And, um, from what I understand, kind of branched out into bad company for that reason. Um, uh, I remember reading in one of the books, I don't know if it was Jerry Bloom's book, um, but one of the books mentioned uh, how Paul Rogers had kind of caught wind of, of Richie cor wishing to court him and was, since he had heard about it second or third hand, was kind of offended and kind of had wanted to, he was upset that he didn't hear from Richie himself and, you know, right off the bat, kind of just bad feelings. So I can imagine that the, the relationship had it come together between Richie and Paul Rogers would have ended much the way the relationship between Richie and Gillen did. Um, uh, those two personalities maybe not necessarily seeing eye to eye. Richie also always tended to always go with the, the unknown, you know, um, uh, Gillen, Coverdale, um, you know, Dio even to a point, even though, you know, Dio was fairly established in his own band. Um, uh, Bonnet, I mean, go down the list. He's always kind of going with people that were not necessarily huge icons at the moment. Um, so I, I, him working with somebody who had a little bit more of an ego might, may have, I mean, my, my estimate is that it would have ended probably fairly disastrously. And, you know, if once he did catch this, this mythical creature that he'd been longing after, that he would have found out that it, you know, it, 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 the, the ideal that he had held in his mind wouldn't have really fit in with what he was, what he was hoping for. Um, I, I think potentially they could have gotten, a, you know, anywhere between, I don't know, one, two or three albums. Uh, with Paul Rogers in the band, but it also asks the question, would he have tried to go for that same dynamic of having still having a second vocalist uh, in the band, or would they have simply just swapped out Gillen with Rogers? Um, it's another question that needs to be asked. Um, so it, it probably brings up more questions than, than answers, but it's something interesting to think about what that alternate history and timeline would have looked like. Would Deep Purple have made it to 77 or 78? Um... Would they have, you know, ex would Rogers have left voluntarily or in involuntarily and they've got another singer and tried to continue on? Uh, you know, this the ripple effects would have meant probably David Coverdale might not have come to our attention. There may not have been any White Snake, or certainly would not have been any early White Snake. So um, a lot of uh, interesting questions to ponder with what if Paul Rogers had, had taken over the lead singer's spot in Deep Purple. But what do you think? Let me know beneath in the comments or in the tweets um, what you think would have happened if Paul Rogers had joined Deep Purple. All right, everybody. I'm on the long drive home, hope you all stay safe and sane out there and keep the quarantine quickie questions coming.